Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. And I'm going to be playing a new base in the uh, using the Rocketry Upgrade, which is in preview right now. And I think it comes out in uh, about a week and a half. I thought I would get started early because the Rocketry stuff is really, really late game stuff. So I wanted to get through kind of the early base while well, it was in preview. And then hopefully the everything stays the same pretty much during the preview. I uh, hope they don't change world gen or anything, so hopefully this goes well. These are my kind of starting dupes here. I'm starting with uh, regular difficulty, and I'll show you the map seed in a sec. I'll also put the map seed in the, uh, in the description. So here we go. And in this playthrough, in past playthroughs, I've, uh, I've kind of showed everything, uh, left everything on camera, and because this is going to take a long time to get to the end game stuff, I'll probably skip ahead when uh, the dupes go and build a lot of stuff. So I'll try to do the layout of things on camera and then when they actually are building, I'll probably uh, skip ahead. So here we go. Let's uh, let's kind of plan things out here. We got Gossman, Jean, and Ari. This looks like a pretty good starting area. There's lots of, uh, lots of plants around. We got water really close by. Got some more water down here looks pretty good now I'm gonna probably not do any jobs until we get kind of the basic base set up I got to decide how I'm gonna lay things out I think I'm gonna go with the the central core of the base being 16 wide and then maybe have two wings on either side that are 16 wide I also thought about doing a just a 16 wide column like super like skyscraper but I think I'm gonna just try to go uh, three columns wide that's quite what I usually do, but um, actually, let's start getting with water. Well, we gotta dig something first before we can do anything. I'll take things slow until we just kind of get get rolling here. Actually, let's. <laughs> I just said I'll go slow, but let's just speed this part up. So we're gonna try to get bathrooms done in the first cycle. And I'm gonna plan out the core of the base here. So I'm trying to go 16 wide, so four, that's eight. Actually, I think I messed it up already. I wanna go eight wide. <laughs> Let's try that again. One, two, three, four from the center. This is the center column. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna need a door to kind of seal the room. That'll be here and then a ladder here down into the water and then a pump stick it here and on the other side same kind of thing now I don't want any hatches eaten anything this time so I'll try to build my storage room early let's get down in here like I said, we got to get our bathrooms done pretty early. And I might put them in a temporary spot, or I might try to put them up here. I'll probably put them up here. Let's actually build some... I'm going to build some beds right here. So this will be the starting bedroom. There's nice decor here, so that'll be good for the dupes. And let's go up here. Now I'm going to have to disturb this a little bit. We could put our bathrooms in here. And also get this oxalate exposed. Beds were kind of optional. I probably should have left them. Now I'll set everything to be harvestable that we're going to encounter early on. I've gotten uh, feedback in the past about keeping wild plants and uh, I somewhat agree with that <laughs> as long as the plants can grow in the wild sometimes they're not gonna have enough light and stuff so I do want to seal these light bugs in here though so I might just deal up uh, dig up this mealwood high priority and then put a door right here just to seal these light bugs in because I don't want them getting out, running around the base. So 
do that and then put a seal them in. So this will be a one-way kind of bathroom in here. Alright, hopefully I did this room size right. I've been playing around with decor, trying to get the ultimate decor. And I'll be discussing some of my thoughts on that later on once we get past the, the basics. So we don't have much oxygen up here. That's okay, this oxalate will help things. Uh, I'm going to put a door here just so this is a proper room. And then wash basin by the door. And I usually build three, so I'm going to put one, two, three, and then a toilet right there. So we'll get that outhouse ready. So one, two, and then three. And I don't want them using it until they can wash their hands, so set this high priority, set it to right. And hopefully they got water in it before it's built. Yeah, that looks good. So we're still in the first cycle. That's good. And we have a little bit of time left. Oh, I gotta get this built right here to seal up the room. Let's check our room bonuses. Oh, we're, we don't have a room just yet. Now, about now. Now we got a proper latrine. Let's do another wash basin or two. And then two more outhouses. And I want to extend this, uh... Oh, bedtime. Or not bedtime, rest time. We'll dig up this, uh... Where is it? Oh, I don't need that one, actually. I need a uh, muckroot. Let's make sure this can hold muckroot. Nope. Let's make that high priority. See, as you discover new food, this list gets longer, but it doesn't get pre-selected, so you gotta periodically go in there and change the uh, ration box. So I'm gonna go a bit faster through the nights. using super speed. Okay, let's fill these up. Let's set these to high priority. And we'll have our fourth dupe pretty soon. Okay, let's plan out what we want to do here. I want to make this a proper bedroom. Now I use two doors just for better airflow. I'm going to put a temporary ladder here so we can dig down and I'm going to dig up that Crystal Blossom, just because there's no light in here right now. And then we'll extend our floor. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine should be the, uh, where the door goes. So that will be the door. Let's dig this out. Oh, we already lost our our seal here. <laughs> I'll fill that in as the oxalate gets used. I don't want to dig the oxalate because that uh, if you dig something up, it reduces its mass mass by half, so we would lose some of that. Now I'm going to put storage probably one level down. Now my la my real ladder I want to be over here, not where I just built it. So let's check our room size. Make sure I did that right. And close this room. Yes, I need to get rid of that. And seal that in. Okay, let's check that. 64 tiles. Perfect size. Okay, that's good. I could probably dig this out a little bit. Now, I want to start storing stuff pretty early. So let's build another level here. across here and this is where I'll put my storage kind of hidden away so the dupes don't see it very much and let's put some storage down here in the basement 
Now, granite used to have a material kind of bonus to it, but it no longer does. A uh, decor bonus, I mean. Okay, let's decide what we want to... We want to put some... We want raw metal to all automatically go in here. Actually, let's do everything except for polluted dirt we don't have yet. Everything uh, but sweep only, so they don't go doing everything. Copy those settings, and then we'll start sweeping up their bedroom and their bathroom. Set these to right only. And we can probably put another autos in. So that's a lot of stuff for them to pick up. Let's dig this out. I think it's safe to go along here. And once this water is used up, we'll just go down a bit deeper. Get this water. How are we doing for food? 17,000. Now these bristle blossoms in here will grow because they got some light bugs in there. I might actually dig this oxalite out just so I make sure this room stays a room. Keep that ladder going up. Let's get up in here. Oh wow, there's lots of stuff up here. So get in there. Get all this muck root. That'll be free food. And get up in here as well. Get that metal. I'm guessing, I guess I'm going to dig up this mealwood because it's kind of in the way. I might leave some of it growing wild, but I like this stuff in here. Now I'm going to open up the doors just so that they don't have to waste time running in and out. And let's build some more storage. See, I used to rush into research. Um, but I'm not going to do that anymore. There is no rush. Okay, can I get in here? I think so. We got lots of pockets of oxygen. That's good. Get my ladder going down here so I can get into this stuff. Got muck root, more muck root. Probably build a ladder up here. Get that. And just generally start exploring out to the sides. It's pretty warm over here. Got chlorine gas in there, so we'll try to avoid that. Oh, we don't have a digger yet, so let's just, actually we can go like this. Can we dig that stuff? No, not quite yet. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna stick some doors here. And I gotta be careful, actually. I can't let them go that way. Because if they go to the left without washing their hands, they're gonna spread germs. Let's just make sure our germs are all good. So far, so good. We can use a, this ladder over here get up this way and I think I'll have to dig that oxalite out I don't want to but and we got another dupe already let's see who we have who should we take uh, we got a rancher hmm pacifist what's a gourmet cooking plus three food benefit minus one Yoko can't research I'll go with Bert. So we need another bed. Let's, get, let's just put five beds in, beds in here. This will be the bedroom. And for decor and speed, I'm going to start upgrading the floors in here. It's 
So I'll let them catch up for a while and then I'll come back in a second once they've kind of cleaned up the base. Okay, they're still cleaning up here. I am going to have one container that's not sweep only for our metal because we don't want the hatches eating any of the metal and I'm going to set that as a slightly higher priority. And I'm working my way in here. This is going to be a little bit of a CO2 hole for the CO2 to fall into. we got some coal and some good stuff in here so I'm going to head over this way. Now I'm doing low priority sweeps, priority four, just as a background task. And I should probably put another bathroom in there. I'll probably do a split shift with my schedule up here. Uh, once we have, actually we have four dupes. Once we have six dupes, I'll kind of split the shift up. Now I realize that uh, if they take a longer break, they get a bit of a morale boost for that. Up to five tiles long inside here. Let's actually, let's just take a look at our vitals here. So morale, three over one, we got uh, latrine plus one, two block break is plus one. So if you do a five block break, you get plus four. Four block breaks plus three, and five is the max is from what I can tell. Check our germs. Gotta make sure I don't open this up because then they're gonna run to the left. I could put some sinks in here, but I probably should have left some room for some decor, but let's get the next level built here. That'll be along here. Actually, no, that's wrong. Or is that right? I can't tell. Four high. Yeah, one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. That looks good. And I'm going to kind of open this up so that the air flows a bit better. Get that algae. Yeah, having three tiles wide in terms of these little walkways, that's a good, good amount of airflow. So let's dig this out as well. Got some leveling up, that's good. Let's dig this out so they can actually get in there. And finish off this floor. So because I don't have any jobs, as you can see, stress is staying at zero. Because once you start uh, assigning jobs, uh, the morale requirements go up. Gotta make sure they don't get out here, so let's put a... I'll just put double doors here and make sure they can't go through the door. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Can't let them out. No one goes in or out here. They could go in but not out. I guess I should change that. They can go in, because it's going to force them to go out this way. Okay, how are we doing for food? 23,000 just from kind of natural food. That's good. Don't have to build a micro musher just yet. What is Bert doing? I think Bert's broken. Let's move him. He looks like he's very broken. There he goes. <laughs> that was weird. That's a bug. So I'll probably put some, put my research station and power generation up here. Take this out. Don't really need to go in there yet. I may head over this way a little bit though, just to see. Oh, they can't get in there just yet. That's fine. Okay, 
break time, bathroom time. Okay, let's plan out our research room here. So we're gonna need power, manual generator. We'll build a couple of small batteries just to leave room for a regular sized battery. Our hatches are eating stuff, but I don't care, that's fine. As long as they don't eat the metal. And then we're gonna need the research station, stick that here, leave some room for decor and stuff. Right here, I guess. Take this out. It's funny, their little stretching sound when they wake up in the morning sounds like, uh, sounds like someone burping. It's pretty funny. So the first thing I'll research is advanced research so we can get the jobs board. And then I'll probably put everyone through um, gopher just to get them moving faster. I should have put the wire through the floor, but that's okay. Let's just do this. And we gotta assign someone to research. So who's our researcher here? Uh, can't remember who has the best. Ari has good learning. Actually, I can tell from the job screen, but that's I don't have access to that yet. Okay, where's the, uh... Okay, they like art and cooking. I forget who my research was, or researcher was. Was it Bert? Okay, Bert's our researcher, even though he doesn't have a good learning skill. So we'll make it so that no one can do it except Bert. And we'll set Bert to high priority on research. That way he'll skill up faster. And let's research. Advanced research, get that water cooler, get the jobs board. What else can we get? The advanced of oh, the supercomputer. Then I'll probably do maybe basic farming so we can get some mealwood going and then decor. And I'll let them do all this cleanup task and then I'll be right back after that. Okay, they're still cleaning it up, but we got our basic uh, advanced research done here. So I'm gonna do basic farming next. And then maybe meal prep so we can get the uh, mess hall going. Let's just do those two. And we got another dupe. I think I'll take him on. Or she. Let's see what we got here. Flatulent. Now someone recommended I do all flatulents. Uh, flatulent dupes just as a challenge. And I actually tried it out kind of off camera. And it's, it's a nightmare. You get natural gas everywhere in every single nook and cranny. Uh, not fun. Not fun at all. It's a challenge, but it's more of an annoyance. So I'm gonna go with Trivaldo here. I'll probably stop at six dupes just to, until the base is established. Food is still decent, oxygen is still decent. I'm gonna need airflow tiles at some point so we can get the uh, CO2 falling down. Looks like it's collecting over here pretty much and it'll collect over here. Oh, I should probably make these priority eight. We don't want any toilet kind of collision. Now we'll have polluted water building up at some point, but that's, I'll just let it sit in the base. We do want to compost though, which I don't have yet, but I'll be researching that soon. Let's clear these away. And I'll be back in a bit once I, once they finish up cleaning. Okay, I forgot to assign my researcher, so I'm gonna have to do that. I built a supercomputer here. And also built one dedicated storage container for algae because I don't want any hatches eating the algae. So let's set a, who's gonna be our researcher? Actually, we don't even have a jobs board yet. That's what we need first. Let's do jobs board stations. Where should we stick that? I guess up here. Actually right here instead.
Now I'll probably grow some mealwood up at the top. It's usually warmer at the top of the base, but I think it'll be okay to build it up here. Or I could put it off here, I guess. I don't want any hatches near the food. We don't want hatches eating the food. They're probably going to eat all this food over here. Let's actually put a tile on there to cap that hatch. Keep him, keep him in there. There we go. That should work. And there's another one over here. Let's cap him off. Once we can ranch them and wrangle them, we'll we'll free them, free the hatches. For now, I want to keep them contained. This one up here, he can eat whatever's in here, that's fine. Okay, jobs board. Let's assign some jobs. Let's just check. Morale is three-ish, four-ish, that's good. So let's uh, do some jobs. I don't want to go into the second tier yet, but we'll do, we'll do everyone on Gopher. Except who, who is our researcher? I think it was Bert. We'll put Bert on research assistant, so that'll mean they need four morale, but that's okay. Ari's got really good learning skill, but Bert's the one. Oh, actually, Gene's even better. What else is Gene good at? Build, tidy, research. Let's do Gene instead. Uh, I'm going to have to change my priorities then. Gene, you will be our dedicated researcher. And I'm going to disable cooking, except for, uh, I don't know who's going to actually be the cook yet. Maybe I won't disable it just yet. I'll do standard. So that'll help everyone with the uh, gopher is plus two to strength and 400 carrying capacity. That's pretty good. And we only have to keep a decor, or sorry, morale of plus two. So how are we doing for research? We need, I'm gonna skip uh, planter boxes and go straight for farm tiles. That way, cause they don't have a decor penalty. And maybe I'll do those over here. That means digging up some stuff here, but that's okay. They can't even reach over here. I should probably build a, f build a floor so they can get there. And let's go super fast here. Okay, food is going down a little bit. So this might be just in time. Let's just keep digging this out here. So I'll do farm tiles along here, basic mealwood. Once they're done, the research. How are we doing for oxygen? Oxygen, we need a little place for the CO2 to, CO2 to go. Let's dig this out. Oh, I let them get in the water. That's no good. Okay, they're gonna have to go in the water a little bit. I'll dig this out. Let the water level come down a bit. Sorry. Okay, that should be it for them in the water. Let's actually build a little ramp for them so they don't go in there anymore. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. So CO2 should end up here. Let's dig this out. And we could take on a sixth dupe. Okay, research is done. Let's do our, uh, let's do our mealwood over here. I think it's safe to do all the way along. It's just, we probably don't have enough seeds for that much, but let's try it. And I'll hold off on the 6 dupe just for now. It's 
bedtime, so I'll probably skip ahead. Let's pick what we're going to research next. I want to uh, probably do artistic expression so we can get some paintings going. And then airflow tiles to get the airflow going. And I'll probably build a algae deoxidizer up here. But I won't hook it up yet because we don't we don't need it just yet. And I'm gonna skip ahead and let them catch up again. Okay, we got polluted dirt here, giving off germs, so I'm gonna have to get a compost in here. Maybe build two just in case. And then maybe a mess hall up here. Once we... Can we build those yet? Yeah, we can do... Oh, we can't do those yet. Wait a minute. Furniture. Mess table. We can build them. Now I want to do lots of decor. So I'm going to have a door there. Have a statue here. And then two tables. Statue. Two tables. Statue. Two tables. Statue. And doors. Like so, actually, I might do a water cooler in the middle. I could do the what? Oh, food shortage. Uh oh. Not a problem. Now, I planted all this mealwood. I should. We have enough seeds for even more, so let's do that. But until we get the mealwood going. I'm going to do good old mush bars. I got a comment saying never build mush bars, but I, I think they're fine. In early game, temporary. It's not so bad. Now I'm going to set that to super high priority. Oh, those should be five. Not super important. This is important. We don't have any other food ready. We do have buried objects, which could contain food, but... There's a bug here, this one. And let's do mush bars, continuous priority eight. We should have enough mealwood in a second, in a few cycles, uh, that we can get off the mush bars. So I think things should be fine. I gotta seal this up. Let's get a proper, uh, proper dining hall. And let's seal that up so it's a room. Good old mush bars. Oxygen is still pretty good, but I'm gonna hook up the uh, hook up that algae deoxidizer now because it's getting the pressure is starting to fall a little bit. Okay, research. Art artistic expression is done. That's good. Now we need uh, airflow tiles. Can get some good old airflow in here. Do we got a room bonus up here? We have a mess hall, yay! But to get a great hall, we need some art and a recreational building. So we could put a uh, water cooler in there. Stick that uh, right here, I guess. And I can build a rec room as well. That doesn't have to be very big. Where should I stick the rec room? Uh, maybe off to the side here. Just a tiny one. Put a proper floor in. I'm leaving room for a fire pole here. On either side. So I'm going to skip ahead again. Just to let them finish this up. Okay, we're almost out of food here. <laughs> Got a thousand calories left, but they're on mush bars. I think I gotta make this power manual generator higher priority just to get them uh, pushing out that food. And these are 89%, so these these will be done pretty soon. Then we can switch to lice loaf. And I'm gonna hold off on the next dupe until we get the calories kind of a little bit higher. Now, I 
wanted to build a rec room in here, so let's put some doors on there. And a recreational building. Okay, I think we're done art now. So what should we do next? Uh, we could do... I'm going to get coal generation and regular batteries going. So now that we have airflow tiles, let's put some nice airflow in. I wanted this to be... I want this to be symmetrical, so... If I do four... One, two, three, four, and then one there. I think that'll work. So one here. Like that. That might be overkill. But then we'll have the CO2 falling down nicely. One here. Actually, how do I... I want to put it there, I think. Might as well build that one, even though we're not opened up yet. Now I should have put some airflow in here as well. Oh, our mealwood's ready. Okay, let's put the priority... Oh, the priority's pretty high on that already. I think I need more power. That's a priority 8. What priority? Oh, I did all those priority 9. That's a mistake. Okay... Don't need those to be nine. Power is definitely a nine. Or high. There we go. Okay, how are the jobs looking? Oh, we're done research, but I'm... I don't want to boost them up here yet, because then they'll need a morale of 12. I don't think we're even close to that yet. Yeah, morale's sitting around seven and eight, six to eight. Wow, we need more power. Okay, I'm gonna put another manual generator in for now. Not there. <laughs> Food shortage. Power shortage. No one wants to harvest. Hopefully our dupes survive through the night. There's not much more than for them to do. I'm surprised they're not harvesting. There they go. Okay, let's switch to lace loaf. Set the priority of this generator up. And I want to get rid of this. Oh, I can't build the nice batteries just yet. Soon. Okay, this is... Our food problem is being solved. That's good. Okay, I'm going to hold off on research until they get the food situation. A nice buffer of food. And get these airflow going. And get the power going. <laughs> Set this algae deoxidizer up higher as well. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead again. Until I build something else. I'll just let them catch up. Because right now... I think they're... Trying to catch up. Yeah, I'm just putting some canvases in. Oxygen is really low. Might need another deoxidizer. Should probably seal up some of these holes in the base. And I should probably open this up here. Take that out, put some airflow in there. Same with these ones here. So that oxygen can come up. Don't 
Don't have an artist yet. I'll have to assign an artist. Probably need more space for the CO2 to go into as well. It's our giant CO2 pit down here. Let's dig that all out. And I'm holding off on research just for now, just till they catch up. I keep giving them more and more stuff to work on, but they'll catch up. Still stress is zero, that's good. How's decor? Food shortage. Okay, we're out of mealwood, so we gotta go back to mush bars. Good thing I didn't take on a sixth stoop, or we'd be even more starving. Just notice this little naughty hatch right here has been eating all my food. So we're gonna get rid of him. Sorry, Mr. Hatch. But you gotta go. He was eating the lice loaf overnight. Which is no good. I should probably put the food storage up here. Generating a lot of heat here. Not great. I put in a second algae deoxidizer just to help pressurize the base. Still waiting for them to catch up. And also their jobs are... They're almost 100% in their jobs here. And I'm going to assign Ari to uh, Artist, I think. Once they're all done. Okay, I'm going to switch back to Lice Loaf. It takes a bit more water to make the lice loaf, but it's worth it. Let's just see. By adding 50 kilograms of water, we get an extra 500 calories, so it's definitely worth it. I can't remember if we assigned a chef or not. I don't think I did. Okay, who's, who's our best cook? Oh, Ari's the only one who's good at cooking. Who's good at artistry? Only Ari. Okay, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll wait until they're all at 100% first. Decor is good in the bedroom where they spend a lot of time. So that's good. Ooh, look at the portal. Crazy. And good in here as well. Gotta sweep up that mess though. And I'll skip ahead again, because I want to fit lots into this episode. I'm not sure how, but we got a morb here. So I'm going to kill him off. I don't want any slime lung in the base. He does give off free oxygen, but it's poisoned. And ever since I killed that hatch, the food's been going up a lot more, so he was eating all our food. And next research... Oh, I just, I just saw the morb blow up. Next research, I'm going to do coal power. Oh, I already did coal power. Uh, let's do brute force refinement next. And I'm putting in more sculpting blocks and statues, and I did some job changes here. Everyone was done with gopher, so Gossman and Bert are on digging. And Travel is on cooking. And Ari's our art student. I guess I'll move Jean down here for now. I don't want to push Jean over into tier 4 just yet, because I don't think we have enough. Let's just see here. No, morale's too low. We do have polluted oxygen in here, which is not good. I don't think I have deodorizers yet, so I'll probably do those. I shall do deodorizers next. That's more important. If I can find them. Deodorizers. Up here. Decontamination. And I'll want to upgrade the bathrooms as well. 
We do have quite a bit of water. Gotta find a geyser though. Oh. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, that's awesome. Okay. Just gotta get over there. Obsidian. I think I'll go this way. Uh, we can use this water for our toilet setup. But we still have to get the dupes to catch up doing all this art and other stuff. We got a rec room here. Should probably put a second water cooler in there. Food's decent at the moment, but we just gotta let them catch up. And we got a decent amount of algae as well. I'm gonna put a polluted water storage in here because it's starting to build up in here. So I'll probably put it where the sand is. Just put a ladder down here. And then dig this out once they dig this part out. I also want to see what's over here. So let's just dig. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to hit the slime yet. And that's the make. Oh, that's all priority six. That's good. So we'll let them catch up once again. Okay, I got a bit of a kind of pit dug out here. And this is going to be for the polluted water. So I'm going to put a regular tile right here. Priority nine. I'm also going to put a wash basin right here so they wash their hands after they bring that polluted water in and we need a bottle emptier stick that right there and then we'll deal with that later for now it's just to get it out of the way of the base so let's do polluted water priority seven And I want to replace these toilets with the good toilets. Pretty soon. We do have a lot of water, so that should be fine. I'm going to need a bisolite for all my piping. I'm going to use this water for the bathrooms. But there's a bisolite up here. Where's some easy, easy to get bisolite? There's some over here. Let's grab that. Actually, priority six is probably fine. Oh, there's a geyser in here, too. Okay, we need a seasoned miner for that stuff. How are we doing for jobs? Okay, we gotta let Gossman and Bert level up first. Algae's good, coal. We could use some coal power. But I kind of don't like using it until we have smart batteries. But for smart batteries, we're gonna need the rock granulator. Maybe I'll build a floor right here this algae and I put a rock granulator in there I should probably put the priority of these plants up as well and we're free to research the next thing oh we got deodorizers now good let's get some of those in we don't have much room for them. <laughs> Stick one here. The air is going to be really bad over here. I'll stick one here, I guess. I should probably move this battery out of the way. Because it's generating all this heat. Actually, there's a lot of heat being generated right here. Which is kind of going to trickle down to our stuff over here. So maybe I'll move all this research stuff up to the top of the base. That would probably make more sense. What should we research next? Let's do air systems. We might need to do some CO2 scrubbing. And I moved the food storage down here into the CO2 so that everything stays nice and sterile. Doesn't rot. Okay, I'm gonna set this bottler up higher priority. We want them to pick up this stuff. I don't know if we have to sweep it as well. Oh, there they go. They just picked it up. Now make sure they didn't bring any germs. Oh yeah, they got really dirty there. Oh no, she didn't wash her hands. Okay, maybe my sink is in a bad place. Okay, why are they not washing their hands? Oh, there's no water in here. 
That is why. Okay, we gotta keep Nisbet <laughs> in the holding pattern until that water is full. Okay, you get down here. I know it's dirty, but... Oh no, then they're gonna get hypothermia. <laughs> You're not allowed to go with the base. Not yet. Not until you wash your hands. There you go. Okay, hopefully, hopefully no other germs got out. Don't think they did. That looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna move the battery up here. Because it produces a decent amount of heat. Stick that there. And do some wires up there. And once they build that, I'll take this one out. That should reduce some of the heat, but not a lot of it. And I'm gonna skip ahead again, just to let them finish up this stuff. Well, I took on a sixth dupe, uh, and I assigned her Nisbet to Gopher for now. Okay, we're almost about to have a bathroom emergency here because there's only one, two visits left here. And I require, I set up the priorities to nine on these outhouses so they get them cleaned in time. And I'm gonna do a split shift here. So under scheduling, add a new schedule. And I'm just gonna do, set everything to work and then shift everything to the right too. So do it just like this, three bedtime and then one bath. And then I'm going to set three dupes to schedule two here. Just at random. That way they, they're not all going to the bathroom at the same time. And when we get nine dupes, I'll do three shifts. Just working on paintings, decor. And the research, I'm trying to get to distillation so we can get the water sieve. That way I can get my uh, bathroom properly set up with recycled water. And I'll come back once I'm ready to do the bathroom upgrade. Okay, so I just upgraded uh, Gossman and Bert to the miner role. That way they can get into this uh, abyssalite, which we'll need. And we can also get over here and see what's in what geyser this is. Do this priority seven. Things are coming along. If we look at uh, vitals, we can see morale is like roughly 13. So now we can start moving the dupes up into higher tier research. I want to get to coal power, so I'm going to do uh, brute force refinement next. That way we can get the rock granulator and start making some uh, some refined copper for the smart battery, so I can use a smart battery along with the coal generator. Otherwise, we waste a bunch of coal. We don't have a whole lot of it. We got 8.5 tons, and there's some down here. We'll probably get this with a low priority dig. So once we get the coal generator, that'll free up two dupes from running on these wheels. And then we can get in here, get a pump in here and start using this water for uh, proper lavatories, which I want to do before the end of the episode. So that's what I'll do next and I'll skip ahead until they're ready to do that. Okay, time for a rock granulator. Stick that right over here for now. And it'll need power. We'll refine up some metal, get a smart battery going, and then I'll put a coal generator up here. Stress is looking... Stress hasn't really gone above zero the whole episode. And that's because I'm keeping morale higher than kind of the job requirement. Not rushing with the research. We've got a decent amount of algae left, and there's tons on the map, so... We should be fine for algae. Okay, let's make some copper... Continuous priority seven. Then once I have some refined metal, 
we'll do our coal generator setup up here. I can probably plan that out. Let's do a coal generator. Priority 8. It doesn't really matter where it is. I mean, I want it near the top because it's hot up here. And then a smart battery right here. And I'll come back when I'm ready to build that. Okay, I had to research smart batteries, so that's all done now under generic sensors. And then we can get this coal generator going. So we'll do a smart battery. Stick that there. Hook it up. High priority, and then we'll do some automation wire between the two. Set that coal generator generator to high priority. Speed through the night. And then I'm gonna upgrade the bathrooms here. We've been getting a lot of morbs in here, which is kind of funny. Now I need a pump over here, so I'll start that. Do I have any gold yet? I don't have any gold yet. Uh, I'm gonna use copper for now because the water's not quite hot yet. But I need a lot of abyssalite. We only have we have 7,000 right now, so I'm using abyssalite just so that all the heat stays within the pipe. That's going to go down this way and hook up in here. Priority 8. I'll let them build that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I set up another coal generator set up here just to power this pump. So we got power going to that. We've got the smart battery set at 50% for active. And then dupes are complaining about it being too warm here. And we'll need a place for the CO2 to leak out eventually. Right now it'll just kind of get trapped in there. I put an airlock here just so we can pressurize this hallway. But really I should... I need a place for that CO2 to fall through so actually I'm going to take this out. Because that's not going to help us much. These don't actually give off that much CO2. But now that we got a pipe here I can start upgrading the bathroom. So let's do that. So we'll take out this outhouse, take out this uh, wash basin, and actually I want to do this properly. I want to have a lot of decor in here, so I want to leave, I want to leave room for some statues and stuff, so let's just do, do a lavatory here, and then maybe I'll do a statue and then a lavatory, but we got to Hopefully two will be enough. Now that we have a split shift, it should be enough. So we're going to do an abyssalite pipe in. Abyssalite pipe out. And for now, I'm going to dump it up here, I think. Actually, I should probably just put it through a sieve. That's what I usually do. So we'll do a sieve over here, and then we'll loop it back. So that's all set. And then we're going to put a sink in here. So, lavatory, statue, lavatory, statue, sink. Perfect, that'll work. So we'll only have two of, two of each instead of three of each. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, we're out of abyssalite. Okay, I'm gonna have to go dig some abyssalite out. There's some down here I could get. I'll do that off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got some more abyssalite now, so I'm gonna put in my Sieve, water sieve, right here. Maybe over one. Then we're going to do a bislight pipe into that. Dirty water in, clean water out. And that's going to loop back and go back into our... We're going to make a loop like this, but first we have to feed... Kind of feed this system get it set up, prime it with some water, and then we'll close the loop. We'll set, oh, we need power for that as well. Kind of wanted to get this under, this episode under one hour, but it's going to go a little bit over. Set the sieve to priority seven so they get some sand into it. This exposed pipe I don't really like, but we'll fix that later. So at least the lavatory is ready. So we'll take, take 
this one out. Put in a statue. Statue, and then another toilet, and then a statue. Just to get some decor in the bathroom. And I'll skip ahead until I have this built, but that'll probably be the end of the episode. Once we finish off the bathroom. Seems like a pretty good start. Be taking on some more dupes uh, next episode. Get through with some more research. Now I planted some bristle blossom here with some overhead lights. I usually do lamps, but this time I did overhead ceiling lights. It seems to be working. It's probably not optimal, but I wanted to get the bristle blossom going. This starting water, our first little puddle here is almost gone, so I'll tap into this next. Let's just see, that's working well. Okay, they haven't, oh, we're out of abyss light again. I'll just finish this off camera. It's just doing more of the same. And then once this water's all done, I'll, I'll loop this back so that the fresh water comes around in a, in a loop. And we can cut off this hot water from here and we won't need it anymore. All we'll need to do is add sand, and then they're gonna be, there's going to be some overflow. So for the overflow out of here, I'll probably dump... I'm not sure where I'll dump it yet, but I'll dump the clean journey, germy water somewhere. Oh, we got a lot of polluted water, or polluted oxygen over here. Oh, this is actually venting out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Holy moly. Okay, that's bad. I gotta fix that really fast here. I didn't even... I didn't even know it was exposed. Okay, that has to go... That has to be sealed up. Kind of immediately. Priority 9. Can't have a slime lung outbreak. And we need deodorizers in there. Big time. Lots of them. And I gotta seal this back up. I didn't think it would actually get exposed. This is infectious polluted oxygen vent. Which is a bad, bad thing. We're going to seal that up. Priority 9. So we'll clean that air. Hopefully immune systems are okay. Let's just check. Oh yeah, they all got slime lung. But I don't think it's so bad just yet. And it should die in the clean oxygen once we start filtering this out. Air lock that up. Small emergency at the end of the episode. It's always fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.